This right here is our cyclic. It's one of our main flight controls. This is a T-bar cyclic. The reason you might have a T-bar cyclic is it allows for the passenger and the pilot to get in and out of the aircraft a lot easier. I can move the cyclic around and get in and out pretty easy out of the aircraft. I also might have a cyclic that comes up in between the legs from the floor as well. The purpose of the cyclic is to change the direction of flight of the aircraft. As I move the cyclic, it's going to change the pitch angle in the, my rotor disc at a certain point to create more lift to change the direction of flight of the helicopter. As I push left on the cyclic, it's going to make my helicopter go to the left. As I pull right on the cyclic, it's going to make my helicopter go to the right. On the end of this hand grip, I also have a trigger, and this is how I talk over the radio. As I pull in on this trigger, whatever I say over my headset is going to be broadcast over whatever frequency I have selected on my radio. These are the anti-torque pedals. They are one of the main four flight controls, and they are used to counteract the torque of my main rotor system. To make my nose of my helicopter go to the left, I'm going to push in on the left pedal. To make my nose of my helicopter go to the right, I'm going to push in on the right pedal. In forward flight, these are used to keep trim of the aircraft, and in a hover, they're used to turn the nose of my aircraft either left or right. On the left of the pilot, you have the collective. The collective is one of the main four flight controls. As I raise up on the collective, it's going to increase the pitch angle on my main rotor blades, increasing the amount of lift that I'm producing. As I lower the collective, it's going to decrease the pitch angle in my main rotor blades, decreasing the amount of lift that I'm creating. As I change that pitch angle in my blade, it's also going to create more torque on my engine or less torque on my engine. As I increase that pitch angle, my engine has to work harder to keep my blades spinning at the same speed, so I'm going to increase the amount of torque that my engine is creating. As I lower that collective, it's going to decrease the pitch angle, decreasing how hard my engine has to work, and I'm going to create less torque for my engine. On the end of the collective, I have the throttle. The throttle is one of the four main flight controls. The throttle adjusts my engine RPM. To roll the throttle on, I'm going to roll the throttle away from me or outboard. To roll the throttle off, I'm going to roll it toward me or inboard. On the end of the throttle, I have a governor switch. Not every helicopter will have a governor. This helicopter does. To turn the switch off, it needs to be away from the pilot. To turn the switch on or turn the governor on, it needs to be toward the pilot. The governor manipulates the throttle in flight to keep the engine RPM tachometer in the green arc so that the pilot doesn't have to manipulate the throttle in flight. 